Hey guys, why is mountain spring water good for you? Or snow melt? It's coming down from a creek. This is from Beaver Creek, the Wyoming Black Hills. And this is water that I've had in the bucket for about a month that I put a little bit of chlorine with. I've already tested this and I'll test that second. I'm curious to see how much chlorine is left. I only add about, you know, a tablespoon per five gallons. And so I'm going to be using a pool test kit to test the chlorine level. I'm expecting there to be a little bit of chlorine, and that's just from what I added. And I'm also expecting the pH to be hopefully a little high. Calls for five drops. Ooh, it looks like the chlorine all, all evaporated. So there is no chlorine left in that, even a tablespoon for five gallons. The ducks drink it, so I thought I'd purify it for them. And then let's test the uh, pH of it. Usually when you have a creek that has little, you know, kind of waterfalls and is you know, running water, the pH goes up from the oxygen inside of it. We're always fighting low pH from, sorry, We're always fighting low pH from fertilizers, acidic drinks, uh, processed food. And so mountain spring water or snow melt has an extremely high pH. So that's why it's really good for you. It contains minerals and um, it's high in pH. And so it doesn't give you any acid reflux or anything like that. And so this is fresh from today. rinses out just to show you guys you know what it looks like from when it's fresh there's no chlorine in this added chlorine so again five drops of this Check out some of the photos and the uh, community post if you guys are curious what it looks like up there. Look how dark that is. So I don't spill these. So it's eight, eight or above, and zero parts per million chlorine, or below, you know, 0.6. Full drinking water. Doesn't mean that it's necessarily doesn't have any, you know, E. coli or bacteria in it. But it is good. Just filter it a little bit and you'll enjoy it and your body will too. Take care and stay blessed.